some people still may not talk. But yeah, I know the ones that's behind it. God know the ones that's behind it. He showed me a different way, like, you really can make it, like, you know. We stayed by the NBA players and stuff like that, so it was like, I never thought I'd be in this position and not be in the streets with it, like. Still had the same lifestyle that I was in the streets with this music, though. So he took me to another level, and opened my mind up to show me that there's more out here than selling drugs. Good evening, Daniel. Well, at least five police sources have confirmed with Fox 13 that the person killed is Anthony Mims, also known as Big Jook. Now, Big Jook is the brother of rapper Yo Gotti. Now, we were at that scene earlier tonight. Police say two men were shot outside Perion's restaurant and event center around 4.15. Now, that's on Winchester near Kirby. According to the Memphis Police Department, the victim was inside a vehicle at the time and was brought here to St. Francis Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Hey, I'm a, I'm a gambler. I know in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. You doing, you doing prop money no, now. The Is that prop money, man? That's prop money. money, man. Oh, look, he done dropped it. It would be four years later that Big Juke would get hit up suffering from more than 10 shots in Memphis. The irony is that he was leaving a funeral and attending a repast when his vehicle was riddled with bullets outside of Perignon's restaurant and event center. Many feel that his assassination is a direct result of him putting a $40,000 bounty on Young Dolph's head. Others feel like Young Dolph egged on the beef way too much by making diss songs and speaking on CMG in every interview. We willing to lose with you just as well as we willing to win with you. Mm. You know, we ain't, we ain't gonna go in business with nobody or nothing we don't believe in because, you know, if I believe in you and we spend millions and millions of dollars on you and it don't work, I'm cool with it. Cause that was part of my belief. I believe you had it. You know, obviously we done something that didn't work out or we didn't, we didn't figure out what it was to connect, but you still my homie. You still my partner, you know, I ain't mad at you. I hope you ain't mad at me. We tried this shit together, it didn't work. We, you know what I'm saying, we spent a lot of money. It didn't work, but I'm cool with that as a believer. Mm. August 2014. In 2014, following the release of Young Dolph's mixtape, High Class Street Music for American Gangster, Young Dolph would make an appearance on Sway in the Morning to discuss the project. During the interview, Dolph would touch on his decision not to sign a record deal with Yo Gotti, explaining that he would rather see his own investment in himself all the way through rather than latch on to another artist's movement. Dolph would later point to Yo Gotti taking offense to Dolph's decision as a result of their beef, although Gotti has never confirmed that he was bothered. February 11, 2016. Young Dolph disses Yo Gotti on Twitter. The bubbling friction between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti became apparent on February the 11th, 2016, when Dolph sent a subliminal shot at his Memphis counterpart. Using Twitter to let his feelings be known, Dolph alleged that Yo Gotti wasn't fond of his growing success, tweeting, bruh, went from being my number one fan and wanting to sign me to being my biggest hater, in reference to Gotti's failed attempt to add Dolph to his CMG label. Despite Dolph not mentioning Gotti by name, it was clear who Dolph's words were aimed at and would set off a chain of events that would result in a deadly beef. Man, really tell you the truth. They say you down south. I think I really had, I was laughing at all this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I was laughing at everything really. You know what I'm saying? Like from from the whole everything. You know what I'm saying? I was just laughing at it. So it all I got all, I was like, okay, I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. Right. It's like when you get so much money, a lot of stuff, you see negativity or you see a lot of stuff coming your way, like you don't even indulge in it or you laugh at it, brush it out, you keep like, it's funny to you, right. you know what I'm saying? You, it's like, man, I would, I, I would, I better not get this 0% attention, you know what I'm saying? 1% attention, but with Spark, this, bruh, real talk, and we've been talking my little partners, my little, one of my little partners, and another one of my partners. 
first one, he was like, bro, you heard God a new type, bro? He, bro, you ain't heard, bro? He, he dishing you, bro? He, I'm telling you, bro, he said he sleep dishing you, bro. He, he saying who? I like, I'm like, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I don't even like to hear negativity. You know what I'm saying? So, second one come. We in the car now. Blaze. He's like, bro, you heard this? He's like, man. He's like, man. He trying to, he like, bro, really, bro, his, his last two tapes he put out, you like, I'm like, he like, you ain't heard it? I'm like, no. He like, bro, you got to keep, bro. like, I don't listen to it. Right. So, he like, listen to it, please. I said, oh. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like he, he thought the coast was clear. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, he know that everybody over there with him know that all really... Not even just them. Everybody that know Dolph know like, man, that, that young nigga about his business. Right. You know what I'm saying? He about his paper. Right. He run around here getting all this money and busting it down with no one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who the CEO? He is. I, 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 I said that because I remember you know what I'm saying? I remember so, having a conversation. So, so, so it's, like this, it's like this right here. He thought the coach was clear. Mm-hmm. It been dead. It been over with. What he do? Oh. Let me let me slick uh, rap about it, it. Really, it didn't make no noise. Right. You see, you see, it I ain't make no noise until Dow just put this song out. Right. You see what I'm saying? And as far as like, oh, Dow trying to get publicity. No, the song was on the CD anyway. You was gonna hear it the next day anyway when the CD dropped. Right. You know what I mean? This no, ain't no diss right. song, right. but it's straight facts. Right. You know what I mean? Like straight the truth, it's like facts. You know what I'm saying? Like put it like this. When you first heard of his artist, how did you hear about his artist? He made his he made his artist he made his artist uh 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 uh, uh say screen Dolph name he he made his artist bring up Dolph name and, and tie Dolph name to his name right that's when everybody got all oh, him such and such nobody never knew him. see what I'm saying that's how he got his attention now I mean you already made your artist use my name to get some attention. I let this shit, I, I, I laughed at that. It's funny to me. You see what I'm saying? Right. It's funny to me. Now, not even just that. How did you get, how did you, how did you get, how did you get popping? Right. How do you get it for, how do you, how, how do your guy to get popping and get some attention? How? Nobody heard of him to win. <laughs> till he did three six mafia. This is true. Right. Okay. Right. I remember that. You see what I'm saying? That's so now, Dog put out a record telling the truth, telling you, hey, nigga, I'm telling you, hey, you, your brother, your manager, your DJ, every bro, I would, I would, bro, I would have his own people to come and, hey, yeah, his own, <laughs> bro, I don't even want to go all the way into it, really, because a lot of people, it's like, I ain't gonna say, it's like, some of them cool, it's like, they don't, a lot of them shook them out, like, bro, I can't deal with him, bro, he's too fake, he's too, he this, is that, he want to control this, control, they like, but he done got rid of certain artists because they, they don't want to beef with Dolph or they don't like, bro, I ain't got nothing to do with your beef with Dolph. You hating right. on him about a, a bitch. Right. <laughs> you hating on him about a bitch. Reality. You hating on him because he, he wasn't signed with you. Know what I mean? Right. You hating on him because he popping and he really popping and he still independent. Know what I mean? Right. You hating on him because he really got M's and no, it did the shit without no help. Right. This, this is one of the hardest diss songs, the hardest records that then came out Expressing the, uh, just the real of how you feel. Put it like this: It just, it's just, it's just. Uh, I, me personally, I deal with facts. Right. See what I'm saying? You had to use three six mafia and dish them, get you some attention. Right. You made your artist use my name to get some attention. See what I'm saying? Right. Real nigga. Me personally, when I want attention, when I want, I'm finna make a scene, make a, make a, make a, uh, 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 uh. uh, uh. Uh, a scene or make some commotion. Right. I'm finna go spend my pay. I'm finna go flex. I'm finna go. I'm finna, let me go buy me a new chain, a new watch. Let me go buy me a new coupe. A right. new like I'm finna just go crazy. I'm, I'm gonna go do all that right there. Right. Plus the music to go with it. Gonna speak for itself. Right. So now, millions of dollars later, bro. You think I'm a, why would I? Uh, uh, let me let me drop this song about this faggot so it can get me hot. Hell no. This that shit ain't getting me hot. That shit is doing nothing for me. Right. It's the point, bro. It's the, it's the principle. My nigga, don't don't play with me. Play but with I, your bitch. I remember because we had you, know you didn't need last interview that we had. I asked you about that. And check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Mm. He just a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Just, I don't. He, he just he just fuck him. He just a bitch, man. You know what I mean? All the niggas. Situation's gonna overshadow all this music you got coming out. Like, the tape, hell no. Nah. Think it's gonna overshadow that? No, I'm gonna tell you why. 
because my fan base, that shit is different from everything else. I ain't blow up on the radio. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I blew up off of putting music out, putting music out, putting music out, video, 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 putting music out, singles out, singles out, singles out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of fan base I got. I ain't love. Oh, he blew up because of, he got signed and had that single on the radio. He got him. Nah, that ain't how mine go. Right. You know what I mean? So, so let me ask you a question. But this even is your Gotti situation. What is, is there a, is there ever going to hey, be a way? Hey, don't even call, don't refer to him to no Gotti. He ain't got, we please don't, his, I don't, that ain't his name. What do you refer to him as? You know, you know <laughs> what his name is. Okay, look, so the truth. I mean, so with this, call him nobody. With this other artist. They sound, they, 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 yeah, do that. With this other that, artist, right. you know what I'm saying? Is there, will there ever be any type of, um, you know what I'm saying, where y'all can be cool again? Like, is there any possible way? No. No, was it at no. one point, y'all were cool at one point, right? It had to be. Y'all from the same city. We was. That's how we even got to, had a, a relationship. Yeah, it's put us all over the internet. You know what I mean? We're uh, this, and this spot together, that spot together, the studio, uh, this and that. He lying on interviews, talking about all oh, me and Dolph, we this and that. And I pull up and listen to hear all this music, and we boys. And why are you lying? We ain't partners like that. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, that shit, I, I can't do it. All that. It's fake. It's like he should have just really just stayed doing what he was doing. Right. And he should have just let Dolph continue doing what Dolph was doing, get his money and mind his business and, and wear, worrying about Dolph and doing his thing. Now, you know, cause Dolph to expose your bitch ass. Man, but you know I mean, ain't no coming back. What you finna say? Nothing. I hope what you finna rap about? Y'all can rep this, man. Okay. Y'all can rep the city. Y'all can rep y'all city. I know Memphis got a history of good music. you know why? Know. We got a history of good music. Right. But as far as the rap game and the rap world, we got a history of, got, of, 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 of we don't, the rappers don't get along. Why you, you know why? Because what's going on? Who, who, like, in the midst of all that, like, who was, like, and came in during the mid era? Him, big head dude. What'd he do? Came in hating on 3 sticks and all that. Got all, hating on ball and G and them, all that. You know what I mean? So you, so then, then, so you, go from, so you come in hating on the folk before you, and you're going to hate on the one after you. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Just don't play with me. Play with your bitch. Play with anybody else. Just don't play with me, bro. March 2nd, 2016. Black Youngster says he'll slap Young Dolph. The Young Dolph and Yo Gotti beef began to take a turn for the worse on March 2nd, 2016, when Gotti's CMG artist Black Youngster posted a clip on his Instagram account going at Dolph and calling into question his claim of being king of Memphis. Dolph, you a B. You a soft A ninja. If you got a problem, say you got a problem, said Youngster in the video, which has since been removed from his Instagram account. He then went on to further diss Dolph calling him a B.A. ninja before adding, you ain't even no king of Memphis, you ain't from the city, B. He would also threaten Young Dolph in the post caption writing, when I see that ninja at Young Dolph, I'ma smack the S out of him on my life. Leaving no question to the drama between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti being as real as the rumors had suggested. Now the streets are saying Gotti is going to war in Memphis, hiring hitters from all over to get some get back. Now unfortunately, this seems like a war that's forever gonna end badly. Already over 20 bodies from this Dolph and Gotti beef alone. Now word is all entourages are stepping up their security and preparing to step. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one. How do you feel about this crazy Memphis war? So y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share these videos. And I'm going to keep y'all on the next one. Holla.